What's up guys, Card Protagonist here, and today I will be doing a deck profile on the Dark Hero deck from the brand new set Level Up Heroes and Adventurers. So, the Dark Heroes has gotten more upgrades from the latest set, making it even more deadlier and giving you more new cards to face against the meta. So, I'm really excited for this deck profile because there are so many cool stuff you can do with the Dark Hero deck right now. Um, including giving us a brand new boss monster, which is the brand new Mukuro, Black White Shadow Lord Mukuro. It is so good because uh, right now, not only it works in your main on your turn, it also works on the opponent's turn. So we get a defensive effect and an offensive effect in one single card like this. Because he, at the end of a battle, it allows you to uh, superior call one card from the drop zone onto the field, either giving you additional attacks or... If you're getting attacked by opponent, even if you nullify the attack, it is still considered after the battle, so you can call, you can pay on gauge and call a monster into the front to protect your life points as well. So this is a fantastic card. Now what Dark, Hero, Dark Heroes needed, an extra defense and extra offense. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, first here we play, the buddy we play here is Black White Sh um, Shadow Lord Mukuro, the brand new card, the art is out. Oh, absolutely amazing if you guys that have the sp or just saw my box opening i put an sp um yeah i won't be show i won't be showcasing that in this um in this video but the sp looks fantastic as well so yeah he's my buddy because most of the time he, he is your main right target and of course hero world flag with mukuro he looks the best especially if you're playing dark heroes so yeah we do not play any size 3 in this deck but we play let's start with size 2s uh, four copies of black white shadow lot mukuro Alright, so it's an Omni Lot, so you'll be able to play it any um, world. But since it's the Omni Lot band, actually it only gives the Dark Hero support, I won't really recommend you play him outside Dark Heroes. Alright, Korkos, pay one gauge. So you can also call him as a uh, as a standard monster if you need someone to push for game. Or you could equip it as, um, pay, as a transform. So basically it transform into Mukro, giving you extra defensive and extra attack. So in order to even run through the 5k defense, your opponent might... Must link attack a small monster with another monster so that it can even deal damage to it. It also has Penetrate, which means it is a fantastic card to go up against um, many of those center base decks. Alright, his main ability is at the end of the battle of this card, if you have a monster, if you have no monsters on the field, which is pretty much guaranteed because at the end of each card battle for for Dark Heroes, most of them actually goes back to your hand. So it is very easy to pull this effect off. Um, choose a size 2 or less Dark Hero from your drop zone and pay on gauge. If you do, call them to your field by paying its core cost. You can activate its ability once per turn. So it is a fantastic ability because it gives you extra attack and extra defense. At the end of a battle, when you attack, you could call one monster, extra monster to, to attack. You can call any monsters to attack. Very good. Or if, you're getting, if you've got attack, you could actually use a nullify. You can nullify the attack. And then, since it's still considered battling, you could actually just call one into this one from the drop zone to, and protect you as well. So it is a fantastic card. I'm really happy that Bushiro gave uh, gave Mokuro a new form, which fulfills what Dark Hero needed to become really, really strong. So yeah, that's four copies of my buddy Mokuro. Next up, uh, backup. We got backup right units. Four copies of successor of the Omnilot Mokuro. Uh, it is another Mukuro uh, from the previous few sets. I believe you see Climax Booster Dragon Fighters is another Omni Lord. Um, this is a monster that can be called for free, so you can use it as bit stick sometimes. However, use it more for, mainly for its transformability. It's mostly used as a backup Mukuro if you don't draw that one. It is also a very powerful Mukuro that has double attack. At the end of the battle that is card attack, if you have 4 life or less, or no monsters on your field, you may pay on gauge if you do stand this card and destroy a monster on your opponent's field. So it's basically a pay on gauge to restand. And since you pretty much guarantee you have no monster on the field, it's very, very poor, easy to pull off this skill. So it's basically just a backup. Alright, so we have brand new cards for proper set, brand new school walls as well. It's been a while since school has been used, and I'm really happy because this school is absolutely amazing offensively and defensively. So now Dark Hero is not only just a glass cannon, it is a really, really powerful attacking deck and defensive deck. So, core cost, discard the Dark Hero from your hand and pay 2 gauge. So, it is kind of steep, um, similar to the old school wars, which you have to discard a card. But, when this card enters the field, choose a monster on the opponent's field and destroy the chosen card. So, that's pretty much similar to the old Mook uh, school wars. 
if this card entered during your opponent's turn instead, nullify the chosen card ability and destroy that card. So imagine this, you're fighting against Dragon Zoi, who you got um, uh, extra dimension, alright, cool, I'll use uh, his skill, call it out. I will nullify extra dimension, soul guard, destroy the whole card. So even if you have 20 souls in the card, because they have no more soul guard, you just lose the whole thing. This card is so good against so much soul based decks such as Jackknife and many more. It is absolutely beautiful in um, in Dark Heroes. And the end of the battle of this card, you may return this card to your field, to your, from a field to your hand. You may, so you could actually keep there for extra defense if you want to. And he has double attack, which is good because he helps to push for game. I'll be showing you some combos I actually do with the deck, so yeah, stay tuned. Next up, uh, 4 copies of the best waifu, uh, Uniform Wire of the Darkness, Gutter Through. Uh, I'm so happy that Bushroot finally gave superheroines support and transfer them to Dark Heroes. She's actually one of my favourite art in this set. She looks amazing and she has a pretty good, she's very useful in this deck that many people actually fail to see. Alright, first up, her ability is when, it, when another card is bounce back from your field to your hand, you can also return this card from the field to your hand. So this ability is is very um, is very useful because uh, most of the cards in your deck is all bounce back to your hand. So you pretty much can bounce back to your hand. And during the end attack phase, when this card leaves the field, deal 1 damage to your opponent. So either if she's bounced back to your hand or destroyed, you can deal 1 damage to your opponent. Alright, I will show you why this card is so damn good. Firstly, this card allows you to revive her from the drop zone to the field. So, uh, paying one gauge, you get a free dragon shield, a so called nullify, and you can actually just gain pay one gauge to. You basically pay one gauge to get a free card onto the field to protect you against an attack, and she goes back to the drop zone so that you can deal one damage to your opponent. So, that's, that actually makes it a ghetto shield, and that's amazing. And another cool thing is you can actually keep her during the end of the battle. I'll, I'll show you a, a bunch of combos that you can do. At, lots of damage while being very defensive to the deck. So she's very very good and she has the move ability so you if you want to move her it's actually the move ability is mostly for super heroines I'm not wrong. Yeah. Uh, she's very good. Uh, especially in the drop zone. She's not of course you can't compare her to squaws but if you don't have gauge she's actually useful as well. So size one we play four copies of Squaws SD. Squaws SD is just there in case you need the gauge. He has a mini Dragonic Charge on, on legs. When this card enters the field, you may discard a Dark Hero from your hand. You do charge 2 gauge. At the end of the battle that this card attacks, you can bounce it back to your hand. So it is a very very good, um, one of the best Dark Heroes that we have until today. Uh, the brand new card, uh, Grey Wind Wind. Grey Wind Wind is another uh, awesome card that is brand new for a new set. Counter during opponent's turn, if you don't have any monsters on your field, call this card from your hand. Alright, so um, you can call it to the center to protect your life. When this card is, enters the field during your opponent's turn, choose a card on your opponent's field and you may pay 1 gauge if you do. The chosen card for this turn gets minus 1 crit. So, make uh, you soften all high crit monsters attacks so that you uh, you can afford to take some damage. So it's important. At the end of the battle, this card destroys card. Uh, it's there to protect your life, so it doesn't matter. So this is pretty much a free negate for us. And of course, if you want to call it as a monster, you can also call it as a monster. I really like I really like this card. Um, really good with combos. Really good combo with a dark hero hideout because if you call it the opponent's turn, you can also draw a card. Right, four copies of uh, Shadow Sniper's scope. Uh, I place uh, size zeros in this deck because I want to do the tr a full attack. Since all monsters can bounce back to your hand, it is very very easy to do like a full field attack then attack your weapon. You don't need to go for gal formation. You can use um. You get, a, you get a picture when you play with this deck. <laughs> you basically want to have, because since all monsters will just leave the field, you will always have an open center. When this card enters the field, destroy a size 0 monster on your opponent's field. Fantastic against many of the decks right now, because there are many size 3 decks and that play size, play a lot of size 0, such as um, Zui. Zui is a huge trap, so you can destroy many of the stuff. At the end of the battle of this card, you have, a, you have a Dark Hero item equipped, bounce back to your hand. So it's pretty much a bounce back for free. Two cards, uh, Noble, Noble of Darkness, Q Knight. Q Knight is just there because he firstly can bounce back to your hand, and secondly, when this card is discarded from your hand to your drop zone, by card effects like Squaws and Squaws SD. So when you use, a, you use him as card effect, you can charge another gauge or burn your opponents, burn one gauge of your opponents. So that is pretty nice to have, and it's a size zero monster, triple formation. All right, for the spells, we play four copies of Dark Hero Hideout. 
One, two, three, four. Uh, fantastic draw spell. Um, basically, you will be able to draw uh, cards every turn. So, since we have the new squaws, which allows you to call stuff during your opponent's turn as well, you can also use that ability to plus one. So, you can call one from the drop zone, pay on gauge, call on drop zone, you can draw on card since you have the Dark Hero hideout set up. When a Dark Hero monster enters a field, draw a card. You, this ability activates once per turn. You may only set one Dark Hero hideout. So, this is a very, very good advantage. Advantage gaining card in the deck. Four copies of Hyper Energy. Hyper Energy is very important in all hero deck. One of the best gauge charges in the game. Charge for gauge, but can only be used once per turn. For some protection spells, we play uh, 100,000 years too early. Uh, one of the best uh, hero negates right now. You may only cast this card if you're being attacked, so it does not have any condition of being not a link attack or having monster in the center. So even if you have a monster in the center, you can use this negate. Counter, nullify attack, and for instance, an item on the field gains plus 1k defense, making Mukro a 6k, 6K defense. Fantastic. Let me see. Um, does the other Mukro become 7k defense? So that is very good. Right, some more uh, production spell. I've seen through your moves. Uh, Mukro art, really like it. It's amazing. It's just basically if you cast this monster where no monsters are at the center, knife for attack, pretty much guaranteed since you're playing Dark Heroes. Alright, for impacts, we play 4 copies of Infinite Death Crest. Uh, still one of my favorite impacts because you only pay 2 gauge to deal 4 damage, it's, it's amazing. And gauge is never a problem in this deck because we have a lot of gauge adders. So yeah, you may only cast this card if your opponent has 4 life or less and, no, and you have no monsters on your field and you have Dark Hero item equipped. So that's pretty, that's pretty easy to fulfill. Deal for damage to opponents. Yeah, pretty good finisher. Alright, so let me go on some combos of how you can play this deck. Uh, mostly you're gonna write into this guy. Alright, so speaking of waifu, how is waifu good? Right, this card is actually very underrated. First up, what I like to do usually is some combos I pull is. Let me show you how cool this deck can get. Alright. Your usual, uh, your usual formation should be like this, a size 1, size 0, and a size 2 on a few. And either you could have, you could even call this or her. The cool thing about this guy is, of course, he does more damage. And you want to, you, if you have her in a drop zone, you can also do some pretty cool stuff. Alright, so example, I uh, set for 2 crits, 1 crits, uh, end of battle goes by hand, 2 crits, goes at hand, 1 crit, 3 crits. Uh, 3 crits plus another 4 crits, 7 crits, all this goes back to my hand. Attack, then you can call up one card from the drop zone. So that's really like 7, another call her out. She deal 2, and you can deal 2. So it's basically like um, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11, 11 attacks already. That's That didn't, doesn't need a lot of setup and it's easy to throw off. During your opponent's turn, you can move her to center. Alright, so she will help you tank an attack. She dies, your opponent take 1 damage, that's, 11, that's 12 damage. Then opponent attack, okay, I'll use nullify. Cool. Activate skill, can call her back again. So she, she'll become another war another time. So that's, you have, so he have to kill this in order to do you damage again. So she kill this. That's 13 damage just like that, for doing nothing practically. So she's, one copy in the drop zone can do so much advantage for you. This is why I really like her. She's such a good card in this deck. So yeah, that's pretty much a combo. Easy ten, uh, easy double digit crits in a single turn and just basically a very strong OTK slash uh, defensive cards, this defensive deck. Oh, let's not forget if you add um, Dark Hero Hideout, you get additional cards in your hand as well. So yeah, free cards as well. So yep, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my deck profile on the Shadow Hero Dark Hero World deck. Uh, before I end this video, if you like to buy buddy fight decks and singles like these, be sure to check out buddy-mart.com. Links in the description box down below. Thanks for watching and peace out. Love you guys. Rawr.